Hello, everybody. I'm Will. And I'm Kristen. And this is why I'm watching The Witcher Season 2, Episode 2. Uh, I think Care Moran. Which is the, the place, place, which is a good title. Yeah. Um, uh, that's... <laughs> 10 out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> this one was a little bit more trying for me. Yeah. I was kind of like, nah. Some parts of it were cool. I liked all the stuff that was in Care Moran, which is the Witcher place. Sure. Um, I didn't like Eskol. Eskol, no. Like in, in any capacity, no, so like, I wasn't really invested in. Well, I'm invested in the rest of them, I'm, and also I'm invested in Geralt. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm more upset that he killed the pretty whore. He did kill the pretty whore. That's, That's like I was like, eh. yeah. Although she was not picking up on the no copious <laughs> amounts of red flags that were there being were like a field down. of red flags, and she just was like, "Give me that wood, <laughs> son." And I was like, "That's you're 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 saying the thing." <laughs> yeah. But you still are missing the point. It's not subtle. <laughs> um, but we did meet Vesemir, who was kind of like their dad. Well, like a, and especially um, Geralt's. The, like we know about him. All, like we've heard about him okay. already. And he could potentially be around. I would yeah. imagine. Well, it seems like they might stay here for a little while because it looks like Geralt is training Siri now. Which, if we know one thing, yeah. we need hours we need to spend so much time training because the second that she swings a sword oh yeah there is going to be dissecting whether she's a mary sue or not i want her training for the rest of the season <laughs> just to keep that honestly they won't though because i think no, she's I a thing in the in the video game so mm -hmm. it'll be fine well and i mean the again eight episodes they, they kind of blow through yeah plot on this but um i will say i did like lambert he is Pretty hot. Was he the one with red hair? Yeah. Yeah, I liked him. He was then kind of a dick to all of the other prostitutes, but he was pretty hot. Well, they were all, they were they were they were all sort of very cavalier. Sort of stupid too. <laughs> Those like, cavalier mountains. They were like, I'm not gonna die in here. And then you literally like, so you're gonna die out there? Like you're going well, they got in, away. into the danger. I liked the one that was like seemingly the madam, the madam yeah. that like propositioned Geralt. And yeah. I did like that little thing where she's like, so you're a father. And I liked that little test, the little game she played with him. Yeah. But. <laughs> I mean, it was fine. It's just like. I... It was meant to illustrate that he does care about yes, Siri. Yes, of course. Yes. Uh, yeah. Some of the politics, some of the gender politics yeah. were a little bit out outdated, but. Uh, so, th yeah, it's where they kind of live and train and there's like 20 of them left. So there's not very many. Yeah. And they have a big tree, which is different than the other big tree where they put the medallions of the fallen yeah. uh, witchers and a, a kind of a neat museum where they're like displayed in tableau yeah. with their stuff. I sort of liked it. But so Eskel had killed a Lishi, which mm -hmm. I guess is tree monster. And then it Lishi dawned to him. I don't and think I also don't think he killed it. He just like cut its arm off and mm. took it back. But she had then stabbed him. For nothing. Yeah. He was awful. Uh and so then Sorry, he turned, Basil Edinburgh. <laughs> and so then he turned into one yeah. and just did a lot of like I, also, <laughs> it was... I, I like I wish they had put a little bit more of a button on it because I couldn't tell if like the tree had like over like that the leashy part of it had like overtaken him because I was like, why are you trying to kill everyone? I, yeah, they, kind they, of. Both of them at multiple points were like, we can help you just mm -hmm. like fucking relax, man. And he just like stabbed Geralt like three times mm -hmm. in the same spot. He got stabbed. So I'm hoping that Geralt doesn't start turning into a tree. Well, doesn't he, did we handle the, the bite that he got on his leg or is that still in, he was still limping a little bit in this episode. And but he it's still like has mostly a cloth done. Tied around it. Okay. But I think he's like, I don't think he's like going to have a problem continuing with that. So th I do remember now that this was this is a hurdle I have with this show is I follow yeah. that the humans and the elves don't like each other. Mm -hmm. And I also follow that it is a not so subtle nod to how stupid racism sure. is yeah. and xenophobia and prejudice and all that. But I think it's stupid that the only difference between them is that one of them has kind of pointy ears yeah. I, I mean, think... I'm sure there are more differences, <laughs> but <laughs> physically, that's it. I, I'm just sort of like, yeah. Well, and I think uh, traditionally, again, as usual in this scenario, the humans have been the oppressors of the elves for like centuries. 
But the elves are like cooler. They're like more powerful. So I'm I'm still a little unclear as to how magic works and who has it in this so, reality. So Yennefer and Fringilla were having a conversation at the beginning where they saw Francesca, who is the like uh the elf the like, female elf but the like leader that was doing the yeah. most and so she was doing a lot <laughs> dm <laughs> um and so they had a whole conversation about how they didn't think there were any elf mages left so i don't think the elves are more powerful mm, than the humans mm-hmm. anymore I, I recall that now yeah i think perhaps at one point they were but then they also at two separate times they talked about how there hadn't been a full-blooded elf born in centuries. And I had forgotten that uh, Yennefer. Yennefer is, like, part elf. That's or, why her like, father kicked her out. Because he, re- he he was like, I've kept her this long, but I knew she wasn't mine. And if you want to take her and train her to be a witch, then get her out of my sight. Okay. Yeah. And then there was a, a blonde male elf named Philavandrel. Yeah. And the our, I was just writing words down as they were present on on screen the aratusa was the school where they ma- where the mages trained i think so yes and this because they were saying that this temple it looked like uh-huh. it yeah so so that's what, okay so the magic okay so I'm, yeah. I'm i'm getting there yeah um and then yennefer and uh fringilla, fringilla uh and then francesca yeah at one point somebody called her dull blathana or was that a title That's or is that like a, a religion or something? Uh, they were all having dreams with like a cloaked figure and <sighs> they, and if the cloaks were all different colors, uh huh. where I, we talk about it, we talk about it. It's a plot in the show, but where are we with Yennefer's whole, like, I want a baby thing. <laughs> we're going to make a baby. <laughs> um, see our Riverdale coverage. So, for- I I think she currently has more pressing matters, the largest of which is that she blew her entire wad at the battle with the fire magic. Right. So she is like, I think that That's is... That's what that scene at the end was. Yeah. Okay. She fell down so many times. Yeah, I was like, Ugh. So many times. Um, so I think that is currently her most pressing concern. But I mean, like, I, what? She wants a baby? Like, it, she just, like... Or she wants a baby with Geralt. This is are they just trusting is this love? No, for the she ages? doesn't want anything with Geralt anymore because well, she, she has the dreams. But she believes that they are only put together because he made that wish with the djinn. She doesn't think it's love anymore. She thought okay. it was love and she doesn't anymore. Okay. And so I think the dream was just like a subconscious thing. It's just the baby thing, I feel like she only wants one because she knows she can't have yes, one. That's a hundred percent it. Oh, that's stupid. Well, it's because the choice that she like, I mean, that's the thing is like the choice was taken away from her, except for she made the choice to let the choice. I, I be mean, taken I realize we keep coming yeah. back to this, but it's because I'm still hung up on yeah. it. I'm no, still- it's, it's like a little bit. I, I agree. It's a little bit dumb. He literally the guy who did it was like, OK, well, there's a price mm-hmm. and this is 100 percent exactly what it is. And then they took out her entire reproductive system. And just, now like, she's mad about it with with what we know about her. There's 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 not really a like, um. Ah, uh, yes, her her great maternal well, yearnings that we know so. Yeah. And Geralt says that specifically in the Dragon Hunt episode where he's like, you're going to be a mother? <laughs> Are you kidding? I don't know. It's it's a little hollow at this point. I just point. I also think it's not it's not top of her list anymore. So I think we might be like slightly done with it. Okay, I just we opened up with the dream with her with the baby that caught on fire. It did catch all the way on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I was screaming for too long. Yeah, but I, I guess I think I think Yennefer is working largely on Anya Charlotta's oh, yes. like strength of will. Yeah, absolutely, because I think the writing is <sighs> because they were having shared dreams. They thought it was like an omen or like a like a vision from yeah. an elven goddess. I think there. I think it's three. It felt sort of like a maiden mother crone mm-hmm. thing because when they go down there, there's three skeletons. They're all. They're each having dreams about a different colored cloak and like different people. But they 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 each thought it meant something very different, considering yeah. they were working in tandem. Yeah. It was uh, it was a little bit odd, and it threatened us with Baba Yaga, but we didn't. It did. We didn't fully get there. No. I'm a little, little I'm blue, a little bummed. blue balls over I'm a here. Bummed about no Baba Yaga. I don't know that anything can touch Hellboy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> as terrible as that movie was, and it was terrible. It was really bad. There were a handful of things in it that I'm, I'm not even mad. I'm yeah. impressed. Um, but so 
So she was or it. So that was good or bad. Both. I don't think it was. I think it was. Yeah. Kind of whatever. They freed Yennefer and Frangilla. And so Yennefer can go do whatever she wants now. And um, Frangilla. Why did they do that? Because the. I think because the prophecy is like, I think it's a prophecy. Yeah, I didn't follow a ton, okay, okay. <laughs> a ton of the stuff with them, and I am with you on Francesca. She is too much right now. Um, but Fringilla is going with the elves because they want to like make an alliance with Nilfgaard. I think is what it sounded mm-hmm. like. And also, I Fringilla's like faith is really bumming me out. I'm not into it because <laughs> I like Yennefer's pragmatic like uh-huh. outlook so much better where she's just like you're a fucking idiot what did you because like Frangilla's like what did you pray for and she was like an end to this nonsense Fr- Frangilla's on like her like fifth cult at this point yeah and it's just kind of like <laughs> she's like Polly Cooper sure I'll join way. your pyramid scheme yeah like <laughs> it's it's just a lot and I'm not like I'm not 100% here for it or sold on it so uh-huh. it's like kind of weird there was only an those, A and B plot yeah those that was two it. big like, we didn't check in with um Trisea or Tisea yeah at all this time around. Well, and I mean, having Siri with Geralt, Geralt. that she was the, the yeah. third plot, but uh, Siri's kind of my favorite. She She's remains great. the best part of it for me, at least. Yeah, and um, also, she, you're right. She did learn in episode one because she stayed the fuck in that bedroom this time, and she was like... Well, she spied a little bit, but... No, 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 but after the, like, oh, actual yeah, yeah. danger, she stayed in that bedroom. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, also spying was, like, a weird thing to say about it. She was just exploring. She was creeping. Yeah. Um... There is also some great menace out there called the White Flame. I don't know what that is, but it's a hot dude because I can see his picture right here. <laughs> They'll put crap on him. Don't we'll, worry. We'll see. We'll see. Um, But yeah, and I think he only, Geralt is like only entertaining Siri at this point because she stayed, like because she listened, like yeah. stayed in the room and yeah. did what he said and all that. Mm-hmm. So um, it does look better. Uh, the visuals, it, the, it, it, everything feels just a little bit more. A little bit more expensive. Um, in a good way, not yeah. throwing money at. No, 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 in an appropriate way. So, all right. Well, I think we're going to watch the third episode and then we'll check back in. Bye.